Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey. As you know, I haven't done an Odyssey experiment video in quite a while. The reason for that is I still can't pull off the snow cap as the trans girl strat to get up to that checkpoint. It's real hard. I've been trying. It's real hard. Uh, so instead we're going to do a different experiment here, just so we can have something done. Uh, I'm going to throw down a save first on another file. Data management. Save to that file. There we go. Uh, and then we're, we're, I'm thinking we're going to do this captureless. Uh, I will also try not to jump to see if that's possible, but jumping is allowed if necessary, capturing is not. So we're going to see how we do. Uh, throwing Cappy is allowed, but capturing anything with her is verboten, so we have to avoid that. <laughs> So yeah, we need to get, is it 10 moons? Yeah, we, need to, we just need 10 moons here. We should be able to pull it off without too much hassle, but we'll see how we go. Um, let's just say no jumping, no capturing. If I need, if I need to do one of them, I'm going to jump. Uh, but I don't think I'll need either. Again, uh, wall jumps are not jumps, just to be clear. Mm. That's going to be a bit tricky. I might come back to that one. <laughs> that also wasn't a jump. That was a roll dive thing. Uh, this area is probably impossible without capturing, uh, but there are multiple moons in here, so I might be able to get the other one. Uh, just, I probably can't get the story moon, because you need to capture one of those guys to um, get rid of all the spinies. Mm, maybe it's possible. Maybe. But yeah, there are two moons in here, so... Oop. That's not a great start. <laughs> hmm... Oh my goodness. But yeah, um, so the one moon you get by clearing off all those spinies over there, we may be able to get rid of them without capturing the, um, whatever these guys are, I've forgotten their name. Uh, but I don't know if you can. That's the way you're intended to do it. Uh, the other moon, you just need to ground pound in a certain spot, and I think we can do that without too much trouble. There we go. That's the right way to do that. Oop, that was a long jump. Um... I'm just going to say that didn't happen, because it didn't achieve anything. <laughs> that was a long jump as well. No, that, that was a flip. Okay, I'm clearly jumping more than I'm supposed to. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, let's, let's just say that was jumpless, because none of the jumps achieved anything. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I'm clearly out of practice on doing this jump jumpler stuff. I need to play this game way more than I do. Uh, okay, so yeah, the other moon here is the trickier of the two. You can knock these guys around with Cappy like this, but it's not very effective. Um, let's see if we can slip past this guy. I'm thinking maybe a Cappy roll jump. Uh, we can't. We don't want to jump though. So hmm, I don't think that was a jump. I think. I think. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take some damage. Uh. Oh my god. You clearly intended to jump. This is not working. <laughs> yeah, they don't get affected very much by being hit with Cappy. Um, we might come back to that, uh, but for the moment, let's try some other areas. We got a moon. It's a good start. We only need nine more. Uh, do I need to jump up these steps? Yes. So, time to do some cap throws. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, so this this area you are supposed to jump into the whirlwinds, but I think we can probably avoid it. Uh, at least to get the secondary moon. The main moon we might have some trouble. 
Yeah, see, so the whirlwind activates without jumping if you just stand in it. Same with this thing, you just throw Cappy at it and it works. Okay, so the secondary moon is this way. Yeah, drop down. There it is. Wall jumps aren't jumps! <laughs> I don't know why they don't count as jumps, but they don't, which is very helpful. Um. This is kind of tight. Uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. Yeah! Okay, so the other moon you can get here involves fighting a mini boss, which I'm not sure we can do without jumping or capturing. Uh, maybe a bit tricky. Is there enough room here to throw Cappy? Yes, thank god. Okay. Okay. I forget which mini boss it is. Let's go have a look. Uh, if we need to, we can warp out, like if it's impossible. Um, it might be doable, I forget which, uh, it's one of the ra one of the, um, the Brutals, the, the rabbit guys. I forgot what they were called. Brutals, yeah. Uh, but I forget which one. Some of them are very easy, so it might be one of the easier ones. Let's have a look. Skip cutscene, please. Oh, it's you, okay. Uh... Actually, yeah, this is totally doable without jumping or capturing. Let's just do it. <laughs> I think this guy's probably the easiest of the of the um, brutals to fight. They're all pretty easy with a bit of practice. Well, I've not tried to do it without jumping before. Not being able to jump on this ice is pretty inconvenient. <laughs> but yeah, this guy is very easy, as you can see. Rolling is overpowered. <laughs> it's great. See? Easy. Okay. Now it gets us the story moon, which I wasn't expecting, actually. I was kind of thinking we wouldn't get the story moons and we have to find other stuff, but no, we can do it, we can do it. Oh, uh, we cannot get... We can't get the last story moon no matter what, because you have to capture uh, one of the Shavarian races or whatever to do that one. Which, of course, is not an option for us. I just jumped twice. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <coughs> mm, that's better. Okay. So we're just gonna do a throw. Oops. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh... Okay, this might be a bit tricky. Uh, without jumping. Let's see how we go. Oh, right, Cappy can grab those. This is probably actually very easy. Um, hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, you can walk off the sides of that without jumping? Okay. Uh, that's not going to be hard, then. We can, we can do this. We can do this. Homing cap throws. Oops, that was a jump. I'll just stand still for a little bit. Fight me. Punishment for jumping. There we go. <laughs> okay, we should be able to reach that without jumping, I think. We'll see how we go. Uh, we can get up there without jumping, without too much trouble, just like that. Then that is that little lip there that we need to get on top of, which we can do, like so. I'm not sure we can get the second moon, but we'll see how we go. Oops, got bit. 
Uh. Oh yeah, coins don't heal you in this game, right? I forgot. <laughs> I haven't played Odyssey in a long time. <sighs> oh no! I think the moon shards stay collected, so we just have to do the climb bit again. But we can, we can do it. We can do it. Yeah. Yeah, they stay collected. That's what I thought. Also, yeah, Mario is really overpowered in this game. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> oh, that was a jump. That was a jump. Time for a bite. Bite me. There we go. Alright. Okay, so how do we do this part? There's not really enough room is the thing. What if we just stand, like, away from the wall and throw towards it, maybe? Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Oh no! Oh my goodness. <sighs> this is hard. Um, I mean I was aiming for captureless, but clearly jumpless is actually quite hard in this area. So... I am having fun. Which is the whole objective. <laughs> Oh, that's what that does, okay. Yeah, it actually kick kicks you off if if you're standing there and that happens. Oops. Yeah, to recover a little bit more quickly, you can jump. Like, after you whoop, fall off a thing and sit down, but I don't want to do that, obviously. There we go. Okay, one. <laughs> I think we can get the other moon too, but we'll see how we go. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh. Yeah, that's way better. My throat feels fine now. Cool. Okay, uh, so the other moon you get by going up there. Uh, I don't know if we can do that. Let's find out. I think we might be able to pull it off with a good wall jump or three. Hmm. Which thankfully doesn't count as a jump. As I've mentioned on several occasions. Uh... Oh, almost. Almost. I, I think that might work. Well, uh, let's see. Hmm. No, I'm not getting enough height. What if we use that guy to help us out? That was a jump. That was a jump. Gotta go back. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jumped again. Uh, hmm. This is proving a bit tricky. Oh no! No, 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 no! Okay, I'm gonna let myself just jump back up there just so we can try again. Just to save some time, because I know we can get up here without jumping. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's try this again. I knew that would work, there we go. Just took a few tries. Okay, that's in a treasure chest, so we have to be careful not to fall in the chest when we get it. Uh, I've talked about this before in my previous uh, jump-free video. There we go. Experience breaking your legs. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're halfway there. We've got five moons. That's pretty good. Uh... <sighs> Doesn't really matter about the barriers because we can't get the story moon behind them anyway. Okay, this is the one I'm not sure about capturing-wise, because you can't capture these Goombas. 
which means you can't get the moon that requires you to capture the Goombas, as you might expect. Uh, but I think we should be okay to get the other moon. Oop. Oh, that wasn't a jump, by the way. Climbing up off a ledge like that is not jumping. I think. Hopefully it's not. I'm pretty sure we can squeeze around there. Let's see. Yeah, ice is annoying. Yep, easy. It's kind of hilarious how you can skip all the challenges in this area. Uh, but yeah, to get the other moon, I believe you need Goombas and like a Goomba switch, which obviously means you need to capture them. Um, I'll go have a look and make sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how, how it be. Bum, ba -da -bum. It might be the one that's in the moon rock, actually. I'm gonna have a look just in case. So yeah, that one's not too tricky. Uh, the Goomba's feet don't slip on the ice, by the way, which is the reason you're supposed to capture them. Uh, whereas Mario's feet obviously do. But, um, you know, we can't capture them, so slipping for us. Okay, let me see. Where's the other moon? Oh, right! No, it's down there. I forgot where it was. <laughs> Oops. Well, I guess I did that by accident. Yeah, the other moon is, um... Let's climb back down. It's over, it's over there. It's also a Goomba switch. Yeah, okay. So we can't do it without uh, capturing a Goomba. I think you need three. Like a stack of three for that one. So yeah, we can't get that. Down the pipe. Okay, so we need four more moons. Uh, let's start by going back this way. Did those uh, boxes from earlier respawn? Because if I can use them to do some jumping, that'd be great. Yep, they're back. Okay. So yeah, this, this moon you normally get by doing some wall jumps anyway, so... Uh, the fact that we can still wall jump means this shouldn't be too tricky. Oh my god. Unless that happens. Da da da! Yeah, oh, hang on, no, I'm just good at video games. Never mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, uh, so we've got that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, there are some more up there if we can get up. We should be able to get up, I think, if we use this to gain some height. Yep, there we go. Easy. It's in a chest, so we want to be careful not to fall in the chest. Uh, when Cappy hits the chest, she bounces back, so you need a bit more distance, so that she doesn't actually hit it. There we go. Easy peasy. I believe in this uh, ice here, snow, whatever this stuff's called, there is another moon. I think it's over this end. That, you see that glowing spot? Yeah. <laughs> and it's still above us. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, um, how are we doing? We need one more moon. I'm wondering whether pushing all the spinies off is the way to, way to go here. I don't know if we can do that though. Hmm. We could buy a moon, but I don't really want to do that either. Let's head back up to the surface and have a look around there. I think there might be some more moons available in that region. Uh, we can't capture the fish, obviously, so um, things that require us to do that are not an option. By the way, that's not a jump, that's just an animation that looks like a jump. Just in case you're wondering. <laughs> uh, crossing this water without capturing or jumping is kind of hard, though, because um, it's real cold. Actually, it's not that hard, I just did it. But it could have been hard. It just wasn't. Um, that was a jump. Go back, Mario. Go back. Okay. <laughs> I think... Yeah, we can talk to Captain Toad here, but eh, let's have another look around see what else we can do. Most of the stuff outside in Shavaria doesn't spawn until you've done the story, which obviously we can't. So we may need to think of something else. 
Hi, Peach. Using the secret path wouldn't help us anyway. Uh, going back to the Lost Kingdom and getting the um, hint art moon is possible. I wonder if that's the best thing to do at this point. Because that means another kingdom to visit without jumping, which sounds like fun. You don't have to capture the Odyssey, by the way. You throw Cappy onto it, but you don't capture it. So that is fine. We're allowed to do that. Can we get back to the Odyssey? I mean, we can warp back, but can we get back there without warping? Let's find out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we should be able to. We can just use this pole here. Just ascend. So yeah, if we go back to the Lost Kingdom, I think we might need to look at the hint art first to make the thing spawn, though. And we haven't actually done that. I know where it is, but I think you need to actually examine the hint art for it to be available. Yeah, you can see there's not much out here. Um... There would be a lot more things to get if we were a bit further in the story and it stopped blizzarding out here. A whole bunch of like things you can capture show up and things, which we can't capture, of course, because that's been banned. Uh, but yeah, over here, let's have a look at this. Okay, so now if we go to the Lost Kingdom, we should be able to get our last moon. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, back to the Odyssey. Uh, which we can reach, it won't be a problem. We just gotta go this way. Uh, nope, we gotta go this way. <laughs> and yeah, rolling is fine. We can roll around at the speed of sound as much as we desire, so all good. Uh, it's pretty easy to get through here too because the blizzard guys, like the little wind blowy thingies aren't here yet, so we can just make our way to the Odyssey without any problem. Cash in the moons we have, which is not enough, but we can go grab one by going back to the Lost Kingdom, or Forgotten Isle as you, some call it, both of which are legitimate names, because it just has two names, I guess. Set sail. And yeah, I did, I did press the A button just there to pick set sail, but it's not an A button challenge, it is a jump challenge. I pressed A a bunch of times. Also, the B button is the jump button in this game, so it would be silly if it were an A button challenge. Uh, Cappy always talks when you travel between kingdoms until you finish the story, which is kind of weird, but eh, it's alright. Okay, so here we are in the Lost Kingdom again. Uh, it's pretty much pointless to get moons here at this point, except for the Hint Art Moon, because it counts as one that belongs to Shiveria. So if we collect it, and then go back to Shivaria, we can progress from there. And yeah, we're going to do it without any jumps, so... Let's go make our way over to the right spot. Also no capturing, so we've got to watch out for that Tropical Wiggler there. Might get in our way. Uh, just, just be careful. Just make your way around. I'm going to get into that tree. Um, hmm. There's enough room to throw Cappy here. Um, hmm. Hmm. This may be a bit of a tricky situation. We could probably capture the Wiggler, but we're not allowed to capture, so it doesn't really help us. Oh, 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 that worked. Okay. Oh my god, that was scary. <laughs> Oops. I threw Cappy too far. That'll work though, that'll work. Okay, the, the dive is enough to get us across that little gap there. Uh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm glad I, I did this because yeah, that is that is some intense precision platforming just there. Oh my goodness. Watch out for the worm. Oops. Uh, dang it. Oh dear. Um, this might take a couple tries. Um, maybe I'll hit the nearer checkpoint so we spawn there instead. Might save a little time. I could warp there. I'm pretty sure it's activated. I think. Yeah, swamp pillars on. I was thinking of and no. 
Yes, that is the one, Swamp Hill. And it is activated, so we could go there if we desired. I can't really remember what we did last time we were here. Like, what challenge I was taking on. The music's playing, which means that uh, Cappy was stolen by the bird. It might have been me getting Cappy back with only one controller or something. I can't remember. Oh, oh, that's not good. Okay, I didn't actually capture, so we're fine. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so there is enough room actually to do that. Yeah, we're dead. Uh, that's okay though. All right. Uh, then let's take down our coins again, and that's it for this video. Basically, we have all the moons we need. Uh, you can see we don't cash it in immediately. You actually have to go back to the Snow Kingdom to cash it in, which is kind of weird. Once you've completed the story, all the moons become interchangeable. Like you cash them in regardless of where they're from when you use the Odyssey. Uh, I know how to long jump, but I'm not going to. Shiveria, 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 or however it's pronounced. Take Thief's Spiding Gift, and then I'm immediately going to throw this onto the Odyssey to cash in that last moon. There we go. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Snow Kingdom. Done without any jumps or captures, which apparently is possible. Um, Next up, I guess I'll try the same challenge on the Seaside Kingdom because I enjoyed that and I think it's pretty fun. Because uh, yeah, the Seaside Kingdom is the next place. So yeah, next video, let's do that. Um, no jumps, no captures, Seaside Kingdom. So of course that kingdom is partially underwater which makes the jumping part a bit easier, but we can't capture any fish. Uh, nor can we capture Gushin. So we might have some trouble with the no capturing part of it. More so than we did this time. Triple jump. Anyway, yep, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, um, I'm just going to take on this kingdom with basically the same rules. No jumping, no capturing. If I need to do one of those things in order to complete it, which I probably won't, I will do a jump. Um... And, you know, if I do jump or capture something accidentally, I just go back to where I was. I don't reload a save or anything because I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, anyway. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye! Oops. Yeah, I have the wrist strap on, and it's real weird. I'm not used to this. <laughs> Bye!